My wife says my YouTube channel is very different than hers. This is what I see on my feed. Lots of comedy, some pets, sci-fi stuff, lots of Dave Chappelle. What you typically don't see is stuff like this. <coughs> the Dire Star. People have been doing uh, compilations of the Dire Star for a long time. It's probably since Beef started doing it millions of years ago. <laughs> This is the beef, by the way, boys and girls. <laughs> no, man. This is too easy. May, may I have uh, your attention, please? Yes. Yes. Poor Stormcrow. <laughs> Greetings, Maguires. This is the beef speaking. And today... I bring you the dire star. This one of the tons piece of pleasure is equipped with 11 PPCs. Armor? Nah. And is able to dish out alpha strikes of 165 damage. Enough damage to give a close casket funerals to whoever stands in your way. But wait, you can only fire two to three times. Before you beautiful After the, the changes they made in the last eight years, the you can fire once. Bye bye. Okay, maybe Easy twice if you do busy. that. Press you will overheat every single time. Forgive me. <laughs> I've seen this video hundreds of times and I always make me laugh. Jump jet for quick turning. And nothing else really. I believe I can fly. Isolate the enemy mechs whenever you can. What do we have here? Oh. New no. Oh. Oh. Ow. All right. All right. For, follow me. Follow me, please. I think this is the video that has uh, um, Phil in it from uh, yeah, come on, you wait, you wait, wait. No Gus, No Galaxy. Okay, yeah, it is. Oh my God. You don't want to put your override on. My drop. Bye bye. Big ten man. That's the beef from T5, and I'm pretty sure he's running a dire star. No shit, shit. They don't know. Now oh, come on. You wanna go? Let's go. Face me. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Sean Lang. Goodbye. Hey, Beef's back here. Centurion. Oh, wow. He just one shot. Right through the CT. I just got one shot by... By Beef. Just, just say it. Time between your shots just say it. When you're the most vulnerable. Make sure the enemy didn't notice you before you open fire. Oh my god. Hello. <laughs> Please stop. Look at him. Mocking me. <laughs> yeah, you sit in, over in overheat. What? Oh, Please stop. Oh, it's on. Bowing up. Oh, oh no. Oh, Spider. No. Yo, yo, yo. Oh no, you did. <laughs> oh. It's worth it. With being able to fire only a few times, missing an alpha strike is it an option. Ooh, dragon. 
wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, no betrayal. Wait, what? Target destroyed. Probably cut him in half, though. Rest in peace, my friend. Hashtag never forget. <laughs> You might think that this build is terrible, but the Dark Star isn't about being good. It's about sending a message. Yes, it is. Hey guys, uh, watch out. Beef's rolling around in his like, uh, 12 year peep direwolf one shotting people, so just keep that in mind. Alright, who are you? Whoever he picks, it's gonna be over. There you are. Steady. Face the Star! <laughs> <laughs> God dang it, Pete! <sighs> did it again. Yeah. Yep, he killed me again. It's a cicada, though. What do you expect? This was the beef speaking. Go onward and send your enemies a strip. So basically, wh what he did here is he had the option of putting the um, some of the PPCs here in the center torso, because you can do two here and two there and then one in the head. So that gives you five right there. And then, of course, with the arms, you can do the uh, four and four. Uh, but obviously, the maximum I think you can do is 12 with one heat sink. But see, the reason he did this is because two reasons. Uh, this gives him his jump jet over here. And then, um, I think that's right. And then um, also putting the weapons out on the arms. If you lose an arm, you just lose an arm. But if you lose a torso, that can be devastating. Yeah, so that's why he does that in, in these videos. Back to the big club because you can build this, by the way, on several different mechs, but you need to have those pieces that allows you to have the jump jet. Why do you want the jump jet? Well, it's simply for uh, the fact that dire star dire, dire whales uh, don't turn very well. Um, so what you can do is you can apply the jump jet and then do a twist maneuver. And that allows you to get to the uh, the shot on the person as quick as possible. Because sometimes, uh, you know, depending on your amount of damage, determines whether or not you're going to be able to uh, uh, respond. And with the least amount of armor on a dire star, you're not going to be able to respond for very long. If the game itself can handle the heat, Nito will do. I tested this about uh, four or five months ago, back in November, and um, I went up against the Warlord in the basement at HPG Manifold and one-shotted him. Absolutely just end of match for him. He didn't know what the hell happened. I, of course, exploded because that's the nature of the beast. Yeah, so since this video was put out eight years ago, they have made so many changes to uh, MechWarrior that um, you can actually explode if you have uh, eight of the PPCs on board. So eight is the modern day equivalent of what the 12 was then. The most I've, I think I've ever done was 11. But yeah. Check out this channel as well. This is a great channel. Um, he's got a bunch of fun stuff. He's actually got some videos he's done more recently. 11 days ago, I watched this one. Um, another one to, to, to look at, one of his videos. Greetings, Mac Warriors. This the is flamer. the Beef speaking, and this is the Flamer Nova. Six Flamers and the left arm to shut down any mechs close to you in an instant. But wait, there's more. Now that the enemy is shut down, completely at your mercy, the quickest way to destroy a disabled mech is a headshot right through the cockpit. It takes a maximum of 33 damage to fully destroy the cockpit. Wait, what's that? Six small pulse lasers in my right arm for a total of 36 damage? How convenient! With the flamers and small pulse laser combo, you can destroy any mechs facing you with only one precise strike. Headshot! Hollander! Oh, he's on your way. Oh, nope. 
Come on, come on. Yes, gosh. Yes. I have that mech. Oh, got it. Okay, okay. I wasn't sure for a sec. But yeah, that was a headshot. We will go behind and meet him and catch them off guard. Yes. Yes. Uh, let's, keep, let, let's do this one first. Come on, turn. Shoot me. Do it, do it. Is that enough? That's enough. <laughs> Alright, second one. Obviously, the old come HPG on, manifold. This one is a little slow. Alright, shoot me. We got the first strike. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is why it's important to get paper doll information on mechs during match play. That way, you can determine whether or not they're a heat neutral mech or a mech that you can take advantage of. A heat neutral mech would be like a, an LBX build or a Gauss build. Uh, they don't care about uh, overheat because you can bring them your, um, regardless of how many flamers you put on board, you can only take them to 90%. You'll never overheat somebody just from uh, using your flamers. You're going to do damage to them while you're doing it though. So they have to take that into consideration. But if they're a heat neutral mech, they can still hit you with the Gauss or an LBX, which is going to produce a little bit of heat. Uh, obviously, if you have a HAG, um, if you have HAGs, they're going to be able to cause you to overheat, and you're going to go into either overheat protection or your override's going to kick in and prevent you from overheating, in which case you're probably going to get killed. But if you have a heat neutral build like machine guns and Gauss, standard Gauss, um, it's very doubtful that they're going to get you to go into overheat mode because it's just not going to produce any, enough heat or any heat. Machine guns produce zero heat. So if you've got a, a, um, a blackjack arrow, um, as long as you don't fire your uh, energy weapons, uh, you can shoot at them the whole time they're using their flamers on you. So we just be careful of that. <laughs> oh, easy game. In Kung Fu, it is said that one hand lies, while the other one tells the truth. With that concept in mind, only use your left hand at first, the flamers, until your opponent overheat. Once it's shut down, it is time to deliver the truth with your right hand, the smoke both lasers, and inflict a final blow. Keep in mind, they will only shut down once they fire the weapons, overheating them. So make sure to aim at the cockpit the instant they open fire. Since Somebody needs to make a video a of all the headshots. Location, executing headshot, headshot locations. may take some practice at first. Always focus on the assault mechs first. They will succumb more rapidly to flamers since they have the most weapons. The heavier your target is, the better. There's multiple mechs in Charlie 4, so I don't know. Have to move up there. Does he want us? He does. Alright, it's on. If he, he, he's coming to us. Alright, let's go, dude. It's probably. Yep. It's probably got shut down. Oh, that was easy. Bye bye. Sure. <laughs> so good. That's a lot of robots. Just three, I think, four. Three or four. Uh, let's go after the Atlas first. He's the biggest threat. Come on, come on. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Come on. Shut down again, please. Shoot me. Yes. There we go. Let's go for the headshot. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, Timberwolf. He's gonna shut down again. He's making yes. a stack of them right Did here. Can get it? Yes, we did. That, you always go for the biggest target first. Because you kill everyone in a, in a single shot anyway. So, I always go after the biggest threat. Plus, they're more, yep. they're more prone to shut down. So. Yep. The small post lasers are your most important weapons. So it is imperative that you do not lose your right arm. Protect it by twisting to the right side while engaging the enemy. Yeah, the other one doesn't see us, so we can take this one right away. Come on. There you go, shut down. Go for the kill. Ooh, Atlas. 
I disappeared. Juliet. You fucking close in. See, he's got um missile build here on this atlas. This is gonna be a hot. He's gonna have some heat action. You just gotta wait for him to fire either his AC2 or his whatever, his missiles. Uh, do your uh, twist and then go in for the kill. He's gonna shoot him for sure. Yeah, he's gonna shoot. Watch this. There we go. Oh, give me, give me, give me. Yes. I think that was the uh, next one. Wait, yeah, there's one here. Should be to our right. Oh my god! No! Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can feel my leg and my arm, even my fingers. You feel it too, don't you? Be advised, you can do this build on the Hellbringer, and I've done it successfully. I got, um, I think I got three headshots in one match. This is the record I've ever had. It's the most headshots I've ever gotten in one match. But you can get, you can do it on the Hellbringer. With the Hellbringer, I strongly recommend you put the uh, flamers out on the arms. So it's like two here, one here, and then the lower portions of the uh, here to get you to the six. And then you can do um, your uh, small pulse lasers uh, two here, one there, one there, and uh, I think that actually I think I, what I did was I did five flamers, and then six of the small pulses, and I think that worked out. Can you do that? I, no, that's not what it is. I'm trying to remember now. Damn it, I can't remember. Oh no, I did three flamers. That's right. Because you can do nine energy weapons on the uh, Hellbringer. A little bit better armor, as far as I'm concerned. I th I always feel like the Novus can help. Weak. It is a, a medium mech too, so that's something to consider. <laughs> I guess we won't get the kill at all. Oh damn it! Your optimal range is very limited. Try to wait for the prime moment to engage. Patience is key with the flame maneuver. Bye bye. Impressive streak. Stay away from ghost mechs. They are heat neutral and can't overeat. Such mechs are immune to our tactics. If your target is not facing you, a swift strike to their back is also viable. Always vote for the hottest map available for greater success. Yes. With the flamers and small boss lasers combo. With superior tactics. And with enough accuracy, no mechs will stand a chance against you. So yeah, I like FPSs, uh, what can I say? There's nothing like the rush of hunting people down and killing them. I mean, my heart's beating, my heart's beating, my hands are shaking, my hands are shaking, but I'm still shooting, I'm still getting the headshots, like, boom, headshot, boom, headshot, I'm still getting the headshots, like, boom, headshot. Love his channel. Love, love, love. Anyway, hope this was uh, uh, right up your alley. And uh, don't forget to check out his channel, uh, The Beef. By the way, just so you know, he doesn't always fight in matches under the name The Beef. As far as I can tell, he's got three other channels or three other uh, accounts. And um, one of them is, I think it's called Stumpy Butt. Um He's a great player, and I wish he would play more matches and do more videos because his content is, it's a, it's a lot of fun. And he's on uh, um, Twitch as well.